so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with the start of round one. It is always special when Muhammad Ali takes his act to the world-famous octagon. And I think the promotion did him right by this matchup here tonight, fighting a well-rounded fighter, but also a guy who prefers to strike just like Muhammad Ali. The question beckons. Is this dude really going to shoot at Ali's legs here tonight? We heard Muhammad Ali talking this week about his improved takedown defense. I can't wait to see how this plays out. Well, it didn't take us long to get our first clinch situation here. Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. You know, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside-out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will as an, on his opponents from this position. Great ground and pound by this man. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie, targeting the body with the kick now. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Straight right, he misses. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch man. Oh, well timed and placed overhand by Ali. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Just over three minutes to go. Punishing kick there. Left punches there for him. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that figure. Back to his feet. Oh, big knee to the body. Oh! They're so evenly matched, they're going to the back. Oh, how good was the timing on that ankle pick? Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Takes his back now. Oh, right, it's a mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Ali's able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Muhammad Ali's right back to the full mount here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Ali. And now he's a tip to choke. That guillotine is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get a submission victory. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. One minute to go in the round. In the half guard. 
Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nurmago Medov. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Nermago Man. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. And he put it to good use there. Nurmagomedov's in half goal. Close guard. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's thrown. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a barn. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. I need you to scramble. scramble. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Khabib's back in full mount. He's got to be careful here. Nice shot there by the champ. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nermanko Medov's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Gives up on the submission now. We'll see where it goes from here. How do you get out of harm's way? Here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Another ground and pound Stop. strike lands. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and Nurmagul not able to get the fight to the ground just when you think you know what's coming and you get what you back. I mean, over the course of your training camp, you train over and over to keep Khabib at distance. His level change is as good as anybody you've ever seen inside the octagon. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Thank you for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nurmago Medov's back in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. 
Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Knee on belly, big strikes landing here. All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too long. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you've got to pass. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, big punch lands. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. There's that patented single. One minute to go in round two. Let's go, that was a quick transition. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Big shots being landed on both sides here. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one dimensional, not head hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's hard to show himself. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded pop. In the half guard, well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Mago Medoff's in half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Mago Medoff. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Now we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Another big kick. Nice 
Nice pass. Hart right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Khabib's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at him, he's setting it up. Oh, that sub is tight. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's going to slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not great timing on that double leg. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Just misses there with the left. few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It has got to change something. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to a hero. I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Nice work. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Ali gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in... Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nermago Medov's back in half guard. Checks that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big knee lands to the body. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempt. You can't shoot. You got to set your opponent up. He did that beautifully. It's tight. Defense is able to take his arm out and stay safe. A 
Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Muhammad Ali's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Two minutes to go. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, huh. but you don't know until the guy's in front of you hit the takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Khabib's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Change of the position. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, great submission defense. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Let's go. One minute. Let's push. One minute. Oh. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air try to return it to the mat. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Side control, side control. Oh, right in the mount. Oh, he's got a lot of different arm bars he can go to attacking here. What a tight arm bar. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He Where's let go guys? because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Muhammad Ali's eye starting to swell now. Oh. 20 minutes down, oh. potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. It is the fifth and final round. Effective strike there by Ali. Straight punch land. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Great job getting to the position and land on the table. Elbows now. Khabib's in half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Win this Muhammad Win Ali this gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big land. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Big double leg level change. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, 
lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, he tagged him. Great combination to the head. He's back to the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Oh, beautifully placed knee. Those knees. Oh, good series of knees by... Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least go for the knockout and give yourself a chance. Can't take too many of those big elbows. Well, a case of pick your poison here. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to do. Run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, big elbow. Now a knee. Oh, nice level change. Marco Madoff's in half goal. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. One minute to go. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Nermago Meta. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Right, so he gets back to the feet. That was seemingly the only way he could win this fight. Down the stretch we come. Down the stretch, but on the feet. He was not going to win this fight from his back. He needed to get up. That was step number one. Step two, find the finish. Nurmago Medov gets caught by the straight punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Straight right is there. Oh, nice block. This arena is sitting down. What a fight. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. After five Here is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision. And